And he says, Coach, I am running hard. Just look at the distance I'm closing on the DB. Josh Gordon has been lauded for his skills as a wide receiver for the New England Patriots, but as the case with many athletes, there's sometimes demons behind closed doors. Now with the Super Bowl just behind us and the Pats picking up another win, well, uh, everyone's been looking into Josh and uh, he's appeared in headlines regarding his alleged drug use. Now Josh, he has a storied history of drug related offenses, including football suspensions in 2010, 2011, and 2015. After an amazing first season with the Pats after leaving the Browns in 2018. Our own truth. Have you been wanting to tell your story in your own words. Well, it seems that his lifestyle has caught up to him yet again, and it couldn't be at a worse time. There's a perception, you know, of who a person is, and then there's a reaction. Now, the player, he's announced on December 20th that he would be taking time off to focus on his mental health. And that was followed by a statement from the NFL, who stated that he would be banned for violating NFL drug policies. The NFL moments ago announced that Josh Gordon has been returned to the reserve commissioner suspended list indefinitely, which is what we talked about, for violating the terms of his conditional reinstatement under the policy and program for substances of abuse. Yeah, maybe I should have thought about making this an after they are famous. Anyway, about a week after making Super Bowl 53, well, it was reported that the Patriots would be paying for his rehabilitation. Now, we wish him a speedy recovery and the best of luck. Now, nevertheless, we still want to take the chance to document his come up story, because hey, the guys made it to the big show. And you know, that's a lot more than most of us can say, right? Joshua Caleb Gordon was born on April 13th, 1991 in H-Town. We're talking Houston, Texas. Born to one of three children to parents Elaine and Harold, he is reportedly of Haitian descent. As a young kid, Josh, he suffered from anxiety and social awkwardness. Now these feelings, they hit him extra hard soon upon arrival to middle school. And as a result, well, Josh, he would begin taking drugs. Now he states that he started self-medicating with weed, codeine, and Xanax. In the seventh grade, he once ate a whole Xanax bar at school and ended up passing out in the middle of class. Now he would often sneak out of class in order to take these substances. In a GQ interview, Josh has stated, the teacher's back was turned and I just kind of raised my head and asked the restroom real quick. That was my first experience of a high in seventh grade. And it was to that extent, so I was definitely out of control. But things soon after got a little more intense than that. Arriving at Lamar Public High School, Josh, he still felt the pressure to fit in. He ended up joining a gang called the Six Deuce Harvard Park Brim Bloods. And as you can imagine, well, they were pretty intense. Being a member even required him to carry a gun. Now, among the gang's nefarious activities were dealing drugs, counterfeiting money, and stealing automobiles. Now, during this time, his school studies, well, they suffered. Josh, he would smoke weed and even drink vodka out of a Minute Maid bottle during his classes. His life, it was quickly going downhill. Now, one of his biggest vices turned out to be the large amount of codeine syrup or scissor that he would begin consuming. In an interview from 2017, he stated, I've been enabled most of my life, honestly. I've been enabled by coaches, teachers, professors. Everybody pretty much gave me a second chance just because of my ability. Despite his substance abuse, well, Josh, he remained athletic playing football and basketball. He also took part in track and field. Excelling in football throughout his high school career, well, he would catch pass after pass, as well as run over 360 yards in his junior year alone. And it was before these football games that he would down a container of wine and he would play while he was smashed. Oh yeah. Now Josh's lifestyle, it didn't slow him down from taking some serious names on the football field. Gordon's got the first down on Cody Davis. And at the end of his senior year, while well, recruiters from colleges all over the country, they came to take a look at the Houston kids' skills. And off Dan Griffin going deep this time, right side. Oh, Josh Gordon has it in stride for the Baylor touchdown. Moving on to Baylor University in 2009 on an athletic scholarship, he ran over 721 yards as well as 43 receptions. Now during this time, a scandal broke out after an incident at a Taco Bell drive-thru. Now Josh and another player, Willie Robinson, they reportedly fell asleep while in line to order. When police arrived at the scene and searched the vehicle, well, they found some weed. And Josh, well, he received his first suspension. Now, this was followed by yet another suspension in 2011 after failing a drug test. Now, nevertheless, Josh, he has performed well on the field. 
setting several franchise records for the Cleveland Browns after being drafted to the NFL in 2012. But, uh, you know, things uh, <laughs> kind of went downhill. Gosh, this was very much an after there, Famous. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see how things play out, guys. We're just doing shorter videos here on the second channel because, you know, we want to put out more bios here and we're kind of feeling the waters to see what you guys are interested in. So if you're checking this video out, you're clearly on the second channel. Be sure to subscribe. Let us know who's next in the comments down below. See you guys in another video.